Hi there, my name is Dr. Scott Colby and I'm a Senior Research Fellow at the Department of Neuroscience at the Central Clinical School of Monash University. Today I'd like to briefly introduce a paper we've just published in the Frontiers of Neurology journal describing a new blood flow signal in the brain's veins and how this is disrupted in people with multiple sclerosis. Functional magnetic resonance imaging is a technique used to, to find blood flow changes in the brain. Now, often these blood flow changes are associated with the activity of brain cells, but there are also other signals that we might be interested in. In order to separate out all these signals, we use something called source separation, which was developed in order to address something called the cocktail party problem, where you might want to identify a single voice from many voices in a cocktail party. Now, our brains are really good at doing this. And recently we've developed algorithms which can also identify unique signals. And we use these to find different networks in the brain that might be related to vision or for uh, movement or for other thinking processes. Now, we also get out these other signals, many of which were thought to previously be uninteresting, like things to do with head motion or cardiac rhythms. But when we saw this one signal, which had been previously labeled as white matter, we got actually quite interested because we saw that this signal, while it was indeed in the white matter, which are the areas of the brain, which connects between the different processing areas of the brain, it's also an area which we know to be the most vulnerable to damage in people with multiple sclerosis. And those uh, areas of vulnerability are actually around the veins of the brain. So when we saw this signal, we knew immediately that it was emanating from the veins of the brain. When we looked across individuals, and this is just an example of four different subjects, we see that the signal is actually in pretty much the same areas of the brain across all individuals and that corresponds with where the veins are in the brain and that the signal is very rhythmic and it oscillates at a period of around 20 seconds which means that it's just going up and down like a sine wave. Now when we looked at how much that signal was oscillating and how coordinated that oscillation was across the brain in healthy people and people with MS, we found that the coordination of that signal was lower in people with MS. And perhaps most interestingly, the degree to which the coordination of that signal had dropped off was related to the lesions or the pathology in their brain. The pathology in people with MS looks a little bit like this image down here on the bottom right, where they have these white matter spots. And so we think what's happening is potentially those white matter spots are causing damage to the veins and that is therefore causing a change in the way that those veins can coordinate blood flow. And that could be really important because the way that blood moves through the brain helps to promote the flow of all sorts of things, including oxygen, or to remove things from the brain. So it's possible that impairments in the coordination of this flow could have additional effects in those people with MS. In the future, we're going to look at this in more people and people with longer standing disease where they might have even more damage to the white matter. We'd also be interested in looking at people in elderly age because we know that elderly people also have white matter spots and it may be that that also is resulting in changes in blood flow in the veins. Thanks for your attention. Bye for now.